Hello everybody, my name is Katie and welcome back to another episode of the Lux SMP. And in the last episode, I put a poll on in the cards asking what you guys wanted me to do in the next episode. And I'm pretty sure last time I checked, the winning answer was build a new shop. So that is what I did. I built a brand new shop over in Spawn. Actually, I built two of them. So I will show you both of them right now. And these are both shops that I have definitely been thinking about doing for quite a while now. I just haven't actually done them and they are actually kind of close to each other too. So let's fly over there. You can kind of see it now. Little spoiler, I'm pointing at it. Dun, da, da, da. Do you know what it is? Do you guys know what it is yet? It's a giant chicken. Yeah. So I wasn't really sure how I was going to build this. This isn't really a shop. I guess I'll, I'll explain it to you a little bit later, but I'm just gonna talk about the building for a second. I didn't quite know how I was going to build it. I thought I would do like a giant egg cause it's like egg theme. You guys will see what I mean. But over here, someone has built a giant ghast and a giant enderman. So I kind of thought maybe sticking with this kind of pixel art mob building type of theme why not build this as a chicken because it works perfectly so this is a two scale pixel to pixel chicken except this one is sitting down because i didn't know how to make it standing up and still work the way that i wanted it to and yeah so this is called the cluck cluck casino and do you guys have any ideas of what this is it's a little bit of a different type of casino so basically you can see there's a chicken over here in the dispenser. The way that this casino game works is that you put the payment in the chest over here. So it costs one gold ingot to play this game. And then you hit this button right here, which I guess I forgot to fill it, but if it was full, it would throw an egg. And if your egg hatches a chicken, which I believe it's a one in eight chance of hatching a chicken, uh, then you get a prize so you would get one gold block and it shoots out right here And yeah, so that's basically how this works And then I put over here if you hatch a chicken you can keep it as a pet or you can kill it for food And we do have one chicken over here already living over here. He is producing eggs So uh, I'll just have to keep putting those in there to fill this up I do have quite a lot of eggs over at my house see this is my egg collection machine over here with all my chickens I used to have a whole bunch more chickens but I killed them all for food but we have one two three four five six seven eight chests completely full well there's a little bit of carpet right there but yeah this is gonna fill up eight chests completely full of eggs actually I'm going to take a whole bunch of these why is there so much carpet that came through these? I don't understand. Where did all this carpet come from? All right. Well, I guess I got a lot more white carpet too. So I'm hoping that with this shop, I can get rid of a whole bunch of these eggs. I really think that people will like it. It's a pretty fun and different type of casino game. And actually, I think that the odds are in the favor of the person playing this game because it does cost one gold ingot and there's a one in eight chance of hatching a chicken. So it's like spending eight gold ingots and then getting a gold block, which is equal to nine gold ingots. So you're kind of earning your money back a little bit. It's a little bit of a gamble. It is still a chance thing. So you're not gonna get exactly what you put into it, but yeah, it's a pretty fun little lottery game there. And also my other shop that I just built, I, I've been thinking about doing a shop like this. I just had no clue whatsoever how to build the building of it. So I was up here in the mall and I found out that there was one store open and it's the one right here. So this is my bookstore. I don't have a name for this bookstore yet. So if you have any ideas, please leave a comment down below. I was thinking of like Lux a million maybe because there's like a bookstore called Books a Million, but I'm not really sure on that because it doesn't really have books in the name. But yeah, if you have any ideas for what I can name this bookstore, please tell me. It is open to come in here and shop if you want to. It says new books added all the time. These are pretty much just all of the enchanted books that I got when I was trying to get an unbreaking book for my elytras because it was not very easy getting this unbreaking three on them. So here's my like extra storage down here because all these chests are full. In here, these cost three gold ingots. I have sharpness one, protection one, and I have one projectile protection one book. These ones are also three gold ingots. There's efficiency one, power one, and smite one. The five gold ingot books, these ones are like either combination or they're like more rare. So they have an efficiency four, a feather falling one, aqua infinity, another aqua infinity, power one, smite one. That one's five gold ingots. This chest is empty just because I don't have anything else to 
kind of sell right now. And these are the 10 golden gut ones. So they are efficiency four, smite four. There's a sharpness three, power four, a power three, and a fire prot three. So these are just kind of like random books that I've collected along the way. They're not like in any particular order. So that's why they're kind of just in chests like that. But yeah, both of these shops are open now. If anyone wants to come buy a book or gamble your money on some chickens, I kind of wish that I had like another idea or like something else that I could put in this general area, like surrounding the chicken, because there's a lot of space that's not being used up, especially over here because I broke the grass like in this little strip and then I didn't have any bone meal to put it back down and then also over here. So I definitely want to like figure out something to put around this chicken. Maybe I'll like put like a fence around him or something. I'm not really sure. But yeah, those are my two brand new shops. Well, I guess it's a shop and a casino. So yeah, my other shop is way down here. I don't think that anyone's really bought anything from it yet. It doesn't look the greatest and I don't know if anyone really knows that it's back here so let's go visit this I definitely I know I keep saying that I want to make this look better I just keep forgetting to I honestly just always forget that it's still here so this is the track shack I built this quite a few episodes ago and it does not look the greatest at all and here we have like eggs and feathers and seeds and like other stuff so yeah if you guys want some farming stuff you can come to that store I think that pretty much everyone on here already has like their home established which is why like they might not need stuff like that uh there's there is a couple other new people but i think that they pretty much for the most part have their homes established too so they can't they don't really need stuff for making a farm but that's okay i still wanted to make a shop here in the spawn i did have one other idea for a shop and i don't think that i'm going to do it in this season just because, like I said, everyone already has their homes established and built and it's not like you need this item. So I was going to make a mattress store that looks like the mattress firm stores. They're popping up all over my area. I don't know why there's so many of them. But yeah, I was going to build like a mattress store and sell beds and stuff since I have so much wool here. That's why I was saving up this wool. But I don't think that I'm going to do that in this season maybe i'll save that for season three when people need to buy beds and if there's like new people coming in and they need to buy beds then maybe i'll do that but i don't think that i need to do that right now the last thing that i wanted to do was actually i need a lot of paper so where is my sugar cane was i trading sugar cane i don't think i was hopefully there's a bunch of sugar cane up here in my chests because i need a whole bunch of paper here's some oh those are free lottery entries okay um do i have any sugar cane or paper anywhere else maybe in my garden things oh yes 25 okay this should be enough maybe three 24 oh perfect okay because i need 18 17 17 or 18 something like that pieces of paper so i'm gonna name these one free cluck casino entry so i'm gonna put these in everyone's chests at their houses and i'll also give them like a stack of eggs because why not i have a whole bunch of inventory and then that'll help to let everyone know that there's a new casino or it's not really like a whole casino it's just like a single casino game like a slot machine i guess uh squiggles offered to let me build it in her casino because she actually has like i think i showed you guys in the last episode she has like the full casino Oh, that reminds me. The new Icebreaker game is open too, so I should go check that out. But um, I, I needed a lot of space and I needed like a specific area to do the Cluck Cluck Casino. That's why I built it on its own. But I did build it right by the casino, so I guess I'll start up here with Lex and I'll work my way down the mountain and give everyone a paper. All right, one last mailbox here and it is cats and I do have a few extra tickets for the free entry, so maybe I can give those away to some other members or maybe like for their birthday or something i'm not really sure all right i want to go check out the new icebreaker game over here in squiggles's casino but let me get some gold blocks first so i have those ones and here i'll just get i think that's good enough okay i think that it's one golden get to play but i don't really remember so how to play let's read this again what does it say how to play place one gold block into the payments chest oh it is one gold block dang 
Take the icebreaker pickaxe from this chest. Break one piece of ice. If there is a chest under the ice, you take whatever it contains. If there isn't, drop another gold block into the chest and try again. If there is a chest and once you've taken the prize, please place a stone slab on top of the chest. Slabs are provided in this chest. Please return the pickaxe back to the proper chest once you've finished playing. Best of luck to you, Squiggles. Cool. So is there um, a crafting table down here? Because I need to combine these ingots that I have. Okay, that gives me four total gold blocks. So I will try this four times. Okay, so where do we, we pay in this one? And, and then we get the icebreaker pickaxe. It looks like there's probably eight chests with eight prizes. That's really scary because there's a lot of ice down here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna close my eyes and then just like spin around and like randomly pick a block. So here we go, eyes closed now. I can't see anything. I don't even know if I'm staring at ice anymore. Okay, this one. Oh, I broke two by accident. Oh well, here I'll just put this back, okay. There we go. Oh, wait, are we supposed to put the ice back? I don't remember. Let me just break that because I don't remember what it said. Okay, it doesn't specifically say that you have to return the ice, but I'll put this stone back there because I don't think that I was supposed to break that. Okay, I'm gonna... Here, I'll just put one of these back because I only was supposed to do it one time. Let's put another payment in the chest and I'm just gonna try this one. Aw, oh, dang it, didn't get that one either. Okay, here, let me just put two in there right off the bat. Let's try this one. Oh, I broke two, but I broke this one first. So let's uh, put this ice back right there. And what's going to be in the chest? An efficiency three book. Hmm. Don't really know if I need efficiency three. Maybe I do. I don't know. I guess I'll have to go back and check when I get back to my house. Okay, and I can break one more. So let's break this one. Ah, dang it. That one didn't have anything in it either. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I got a book. Let me put that ice in there because I think that I'm supposed to do that. And yeah, so that's the new icebreaker game made by Squiggles at the Lux Casino. And with that, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Lux SMP. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my new chicken shop, if you think it's a creative idea. I know that I've personally never seen anyone do something like this before. So I think that it's an original idea, but it might not be someone else might have already done it. I'm not really sure about that. But yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!